is Bhumika Singh for SME Futures and here are the top stories from this week. India is on its way to become a cash-free nation. As according to the government data released this week, the number of UPI transactions reached a record high of 782 crores, amounting to Rs 12.82 lakh crores in December 2022. While as per NPCI data, approximately 74 billion transactions of Rs 125.94 trillion were processed using UPI in the calendar year 2022. Along with that, RBI reports that Indian currency in circulation increased by 83% and the value of currency in circulation stood at Rs 32.4 lakh crore as of December 23, 2022. According to Prime Database, Indian IPO fundraising in 2022 fell half of fund raised by IPOs in the year 2021. Data says that 40 Indian corporates raised Rs 59,412 crore through main board IPOs in the calendar year 2022, while Rs 1,18,723 crore of funds were mobilized by 63 IPOs in 2021. Overall public equity fundraising also dropped by 55% to Rs 90,995 crore from Rs 2 lakh 2048 crores in 2021. Unemployment in India is on surge, says data released by the Center of Monitoring Indian Economy. According to the data, India's unemployment rate has increased to 8.3% in December 2022, with the highest level in 16 months. Unemployment is the proportion of labor force that is unemployed and yet looking for work. And according to the report, the Indian unemployment rate in urban areas increased to 10.09% in December from 896 in the previous month, while it decreased in rural areas to 7.44% from 7.55%. Centre on Monday proposed a self-regulatory body for online gaming which would be registered with the Ministry of Electronics and IT as a part of IT Rules 2021. The draft amendments are aimed at addressing the said need while enabling the growth of online gaming industry in a responsible manner, said a ministry notice. The government has invited public comments on the draft rules for online gaming by January 17, 2023. An MSME furniture brand, Sara Furniture, is going to become the first company in Rajasthan and in Indian furniture industry to introduce the four-day work week policy. The operation of announcement will commence soon this year. Along with that, in India, several companies have started practicing a four-day work week policy, including Swiggy, Oyo, TAC Security, ad agencies like DTP Mudra, and many others. For more such updates, keep watching SMEs this week every Friday.